Welcome back everyone to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. This week I am working on a, another really pretty four color puddle pour. All four colors by Meaded Arts. We have the four colors being my metallic silver, metallic silver black, metallic deep gold, and metallic wine red, which is by far the prettiest color of all four. So let's take a quick second and check it out and see how this one finishes up. Okay, and going into the first three puddles here with my silver. Now, in terms of pattern for this 12 by 24 canvas, I decided to go very symmetrical. I wanted to make my pattern the same from corner to corner. So beginning with my silver and my silver black, which is a really cool color. Um, just picture black with some silver mixed in, that's what you have. So it's kind of a neat contrast between your straight black and your straight silver. So again, wanting to maintain a bit of consistency with my pattern throughout the entire pour before getting to the next steps later on in the pour. So let's keep at it and we'll get through it. Okay, now as we get into this pour, I'm gonna apologize in advance for this bit of a raspy voice. I went to a football game last night with my family and I cheered a little bit too loud and lost my voice for a short time and I got this back. So you're gonna to have to stick with me. Hopefully it adds character to the voiceover of this pour in addition to how pretty the pour turned out. So again, the raspy from football, not from a cold or whatever. Um, just too much cheering because I love our local team. And um, this pour again turned out fantastic. Okay, now as for these puddles. So I'm going for as much distance between each color as I can manage within a reason. Knowing again, I've got lots of canvas, but wanting to keep the gold away from the silver and the black away from the gold kind of thing. Uh, making sure not to get two puddles of the same color touching just yet and wanting to make sure and again, kind of just get every color in between each other. So. That's the idea behind this particular pour, and it took a, bit, took a bit of time to get all these puddles down. This is sped up a little bit, so bear with me through the puddle part. And we got a really cool pattern coming up in a few seconds on what I did to create my pattern and my dimensions. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. Okay, notice a question for all of you who happen to do this fun little paint pouring thing. Um, how many of you out there have used the Meaden brand for acrylic paints? Now, I've worked with them a couple times in the past few months, and this was a set I got from Meaden for the six acrylics, and I found that they are incredibly smooth. Like, I can't, in, in terms of rank of smoothness, they'd be like two out of 10 brands if I mixed all of them, I'm sure of it. So if you have used Meaden, do you like it? If you haven't used Meaden, I would recommend trying it just for the sake of something different. Um, because unlike, let's say, an Amsterdam or a Golden, which is quite thick, um, unless mixed with lots of medium, I found that the Meaden was equally as you know dense with lots of pigment and just came out incredibly smooth and kind of liquid, which lets me get through the puddles with really, really um, nice ease. Okay, and wrapping up these puddles, I am deciding to wreck all these beautiful puddles with the back of my little paintbrush. Now I'm trying to get all of my colors into one another, but I decided because it was kind of pretty, off the initial first swirl or two, I wanted to swirl like a full circle through every every color. And I think it turned out really, really nice. Now, normally I would break them, go back and forth and be kind of plain Jane boring, but I found that this was, again, gave it a bit more character and just more fun generally. Also, when you wreck a painting this way, this is sped up. This is like therapeutic. I love doing this. It's so much fun. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I've got some pretty patterns coming out of all colors and we will get to some swipes in a moment. 
Now, actually, this is a great place for my question of the week. In terms of tools that are used for wrecking a painting, what is your favorite? I use the back of my paintbrush, which is rounded, so it's not digging into my canvas at all. It gives it a nice polished finish and just love it. So let me know in the comments below what you use and what your favorite is. Okay, and here is that really pretty pattern I thought I wanted to kind of leave alone. Sometimes you can take a wrecked pour and simply just dump it off the sides and see what happens, but I wanted to get some swipes in. You guys all know I love my swipes, so going from left to right. Um, again, I attribute this nice swipe to the fact that the paint, the Maiden brand, I think is a really good paint and leads to nice swipes. Um, this was my primary swipe, we'll call it, through the middle. Wanted to keep lots of those cells and lacing effects through the end. And going into my second, through that nice red wine color, I wanted to try to get as much blend as possible through the middle, top third, and bottom third on each of my three swipes. So as for the last, I went through the gold and wanted to carry the gold and the red wine into the rest, which leads over the silver and the silver black. So all in all, I was really quite happy with how these swipes turned out. And let me know, am I, am I a swipe expert yet? Or have I got work to do? So let me know. Now, as I let my swipes settle for a few minutes, I used some extra of the red wine color and I believe the copper to fill the corners. Now this is something I didn't do early on in my pouring career, not knowing any better. That's when you go to tilt your nice lacing effects you had before, have a hard time rolling over the edges of your canvas. So if there's paint there to begin with, you have no intent on keeping or hanging on to. It's best used in this case to kind of cover the corners and have it fall off anyway, because it will lead to better effects in terms of your composition and what you intended on doing in the first place, then having your lacing kind of get pulled over and maybe distort what your plan was to begin with. Now, as we get into some of the tilts, I found that this tilt went actually really quick. This was four tilts and it was over. So one thing off the first tilt though I'll mention is I was really pleased with how everything was looking through the middle. Um, it expanded quite well. The, the depth and width of the lacing was really nice. The metallics are all blending really, really well. And I really had, you know, this was maybe a minute tilting total time. Uh, sped up, it's a bit quicker. But anyway, it was four tilts and over. Getting closer back to me. And remember to always recenter your paints before going in for a final tilt off your last corner unless your intent is to lose that composition to begin with. So I always want to recenter my paints before my last corner, just to maintain your design pattern you intended. And now as I wrap up this last corner, I wanna say happy Independence Day to my American friends down south who happened to celebrate the occasion. Hope it was safe and fun and you had a great time with your family, maybe enjoyed some fireworks and some great food. So again, happy Independence Day and I hope it was great. Um, now, as we finish off this particular pour, my wife had to come on over and give me a hand for a sec here. I needed my, my stir sticks to maintain the level on my painting. So she came by in a few seconds here to just make sure that stick was centered right about there for me to make sure nothing fell off. And here is an overhead view of the finished product. Again, the Meaden brand for metallics anyway is really gorgeous. I found that this lacing and all the effects from the blends and the finished look just look awesome. So again, Meaden, give them a shot. They're worth the dollars if you have them. And anyhow, um, aside from my opinion of my painting, what do you guys think of how this turned out? I love your comments below in the comment section on how this turned out. And yeah, any comments or feedback are always appreciated. Thanks again for your support. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't, and we can see you again in the next one.